Bangladesh will not face economic recession, says Prime Minister urges everyone to exercise austerity in using electricity, water and oil. Corrupt individual of any party should be punished, says President SCC is called up to demonstrate utmost impartiality and ethics. BNP leader Mijia Fokul and Mijia Abbas arrested grants permission to hold a rally in Golabak round in the capital. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Farhani Yasmin with you in the newsroom today watching headlines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said Bangladesh has to be built as a developed nation with the participation of all in Union Amit uh, Rise and Shine of Women. The Premier said this by addressing the ceremony of Begum Rokia Day 2022 and Begum Rokia Product 2020 distribution at Capital Dhaka's Usmani Memory Auditorium. At the ceremony, Begum Rokia Paduk 2022 was distributed to five distinguished women for their extraordinary contribution to various sectors in society. The Premier handed over the Paduk to the recipients. Prime Minister said Bangladesh will not have to face economic recession like other countries. The head of the government urged everyone to exercise austerity in using electricity, water, oil, so that the shock of the economic recession that he has hit the world cannot come to Bangladesh. Corrupt individual of any party should be punished, says President Muhammad Abdul Hamid. However, there is no alternative in building a social movement against corruption, added the President. He said this in a virtual speech at the International Anti-Corruption Day Ceremony at Shilpakala Academy in the capital today. Chief Justice Hassan Fawaz Siddiqui was the special guest at the event organized by the Anti-Corruption Commission. Besides, ACC is called upon to demonstrate utmost impartiality and ethics. Awam League General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir has urged the U.S. Ambassador not to spoil friendship by making unwanted comments on Mahdi's election. He said this at the first preparatory meeting of the 22nd National Council at the political office of the party president in Dhanmondi today. The Minister of Road Transport and Bridges said that the people died in the American election too, referring to election fraud in other countries. Badal Qadir said Bangladesh wants to maintain friendly relationship with America. BNP Secretary General Major Fokul Islam Alam Gir and its standing committee member Major Abbas have been shown arrested in a case over the clash between police and BNP men at Noyapolton in the capital Dhaka. Chief of Detective Branch of Dhaka Metropolitan Police, Harun Rashid, informed this to journalists today. He said they were brought to the office of DV for questioning and after interrogation they were shown arrested in a case of fault over the clash in Neapolitan. The charge against them is that they incited, planned and instructed barbaric attacks on police and the throwing cocktails, he added. Earlier, BNP claimed that the detective branch of police picked up Mija Fokul and Mija Abbas from their respective homes in capital Dhaka early Friday. Besides, BNP has finally got permission to hold it December 10 and Hakka Division on Masterelli at Gulabak Afield in the capital. BNP Vice Chairman Dr. AZM Zahid Hussain said they went to hold a rally at the Kamlap Stadium, but the stadium authorities told them to consider any other place in, since there are games. The prices of pulse flower and a finer flower or mada have arisen again in the market of the capital alum with a sugar. Sugar is not in the market. Meanwhile, however, the prices of all products, including onion, garlic and ginger are the same as before. Apart from this, the price of rice has not increased since last two weeks. Besides, the price of vegetables has decreased slightly along with the beans. Three people, including two rap members of the Rapid Action Battalion, 
were killed when they were hit by a pickup van of the drug smugglers in Magura. Another rape members were seriously injured. The incident took place in Lotor area of Magura while a chasing drug smugglers with a microbus. The deceased are rap members Anisur Rahman and Mahidouli and the driver of the pickup van. However, the name of the driver could not be confirmed. Viewers now international news. Iran has announced the execution of a protester convicted of violence in the recent anti-government protest. The country's official press reported this information on Thursday. Iranian media reported that Mohsen Shekhar was a hanged house Thursday morning after a revolutionary court found him guilty of enmity against God. Mohsen was accused of being a writer after blocking a main road in Tehran and stabbing a member of the paramilitary force in September. Condemning the incident, a rights activist said he was convicted after a short trial without due process. The U.S. is going to give another $275 million military aid to Ukraine amid the ongoing war against Russia. The new aid package includes anti-drone equipment as well as equipment to strengthen air defense. According to foreign media, this possible new military aid package for Ukraine will include Lockheed Martin Corporation High Mobility Artillery Rocket System and Rocket Launcher, 155 m ammunition, Humvee military vehicles and generators. The U.S. has been sending sophisticated anti-aircraft NASAM systems for weeks. Amid tensions with the United States, China's relationship with Saudi Arabia is deepening. Chinese President Xi Jinping is on a three-day visit to Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia. Several moves and agreements were signed between the two countries on Thursday. Apart from these, the leaders of the two countries also signed an agreement on unity to achieve the goals of Saudi Vision 2030 and Beijing Road and Initiative. There are plans to sign an agreement over $3 billion between the two countries on various issues, including investment. And meanwhile, the deal is believed to have heightened the U.S. security concern in the Gulf region. Viewers now sports. Qatar World Cup football quarterfinal starts tonight in the, a fight to reach the semi finals of the Qatar World Cup football. Two arch rivals, Brazil and Argentina, will enter the field tonight in a separate matches. Brazil will face World Cup runners up Croatia in the first quarter final in the Education City Stadium at 9 p.m. And in the second quarter final at 1 a.m. at Lusada Stadium, Argentina's opponent is the Netherlands. We are about to the end of headlines once again. Bangladesh will not face economic restrictions as Prime Minister urges everyone to exercise austerity in using electricity, water, oil. Corrupt individual of any party should be punished, says President as this is called upon to demonstrate utmost impartiality and ethics. BNP leader Major Fokul and Major Abbas arrested grants permission to hold rally in Golaba, crowning the capital. Iran execute protester convicted of violence at anti-government protests, condemnation of human rights activists. Qatar World Cup football quarter final starts tonight. Brazil to take on Croatia and Argentina will face Netherlands.
Thanks for being with us to join with my TV news on FZ YouTube slash my TV BD news to watch all our programs Z YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast 7:30 PM. Stay connected and Allah Hafiz.